Hi! Welcome and welcome and welcome back again to my channel. Yes, this is me, Princess. And I know that I've been missing out for a little while and now I'm back with another video, with another pasabog. And so I actually just did my first video earlier and I decided to post or to upload this video on first hand because it's one of the most requested especially from the transgender community and so from there pala i know that you have an idea na on what this video is gonna be Ayan. and this is for every transgender who have been asking me have been messaging me what are the hormones that i've been taking or using yes i have been receiving on my Facebook, Instagram, na naka-filter lang sila kasi, you know, they're following me on my social media. Wow, hindi naman ako ganun kasikat, pero may nag-idolize ako na and I'm so thankful for that. Thank you. You need to idolize me, but I do appreciate your um, messages and asking me what are the hormones that I'm taking. Again, so for all of you guys, first of all, I am a free of transgender. I've been living as a transgender woman for two years now and I'm on my HRT or my hormonal replacement therapy for almost two years now and so this video is all gonna be about um, um, HRT or hormonal replacement therapy. I'm gonna share with you guys all the tips or all the things that I've learned from taking hormones since day one that I started taking it. Disclaimer lang guys. I am not an expert when it comes to these products or I am not medically inclined with all of this. Hindi din ako doktor para magpayas sa inyo kung anong tama at anong mali, ang kailan ito inumin, kailan hindi. I'm just gonna share all my thoughts about HRT or hormones. And also, hindi ko ina-advise sa lahat ng transgender or sa lahat ng nagtitake ng hormones na kung anong ininom ko, yun din ang inumin ninyo. Kasi posibleng hiyang sa akin, hindi hiyang sa inyo. So, you do your own research. You test it out first for a couple of months and if you feel, or a couple of days, I mean, and if you feel na may nag-breakout nag kayo, nagka-hormonal imbalance kayo, so stop. Again, stop using that product. Move and try to another product and then do the same thing it's really a process it takes a while for you to really stick on that product so i've been sticking on these products for again almost two years now and also for all the trenene trenalia transgender whatever you call it especially those among bag nagsusulputan ng mga transistors natin you know if I know that every one of us may mga ina idolize tayo mga transgender here in the Philippines. So, ako may mga ina idolize din ako to name a few: Lars Pacheco, Aya Garcia, Francine Garcia, Kevin Ballot, of course. Shempre, porque hindi porque yun yung kinitake nila, yun din ang ititake ninyo. Kasi hindi naman yung pagtinake ninyo magiging Lars Pacheco din kayo. You will be your own definition of yourself. So be yourself. Do not try to copy someone else's. You know, siguro pwedeng manghingi kayo or kuhin nyo yung mga some tips nila. Tatry nyo din yung mga hormones na tinitake nila. Pero again, you will not be a large pacheco. You will be your own self. So, ayan. Huwag natin, pwede natin gayahin yung mga tinitake nila. Pero huwag natin silang gayahin. You will just have to Actually, we don't need to idolize them. We just need to get inspired by them, be influenced by them. Kasi syempre, di ba, isa sila sa mga tinitingalan natin kasi sobrang ganda nila, sobrang, sobrang feminine nila. Kaya nagiging inspiration natin sila pagdating sa mga hormones. Ayan, so, and also, alam niyo guys, may mga alam din ako, may mga kilala akong mga Trenelian, especially in my, in my hometown na grabe sila ng mga take ng hormones as in 3 tablets a day or yung, yung dosage na dapat for one week in everything nila. Alam niyo guys, yung hormones hindi siya yung pag tinitake, pag tinake mo ng isang araw, kinabukasan babae ka na. Hindi yung ganun. Again, it takes a process. 
and kasi normally yung mga ganitong klaseng um, drugs, hindi siya nag-absorb or nag-incubate sa katawan mo for one month. Normally, nakikita yung result for a minimum of three months. Ayun, yun yung sa pagkakaalam ko. At yun din yung na-experience ko sa akin. Before, madami din akong pinagdaanan ng mga pills. I started sa contraceptive pills, sa micro pills, trust, lady and now i'm sticking on my favorite which is the yen 35 from germany i've been using the yen germany or uh, the yen 35 germany for almost two years now and dati ayan pagkakamali ko din yung grabe akong mga take yung micro pill tatlong tablet a day so kasi alam nyo guys kahit tatlong tablet yung ititake nyo kahit usman pa rin yun isa lang yung i absorb ng katawan natin. And also, if you are on your HRT na, limited na lahat. Especially when you're a smoker, you're a drinker, or alcohol drinker, you have to minimize those things, if, especially if you are on your HRT. Kasi pinapatay natin yung atay natin sa age, sa hormones pa lang. At lalim yung pinapatay kung nag-smoke pa kayo at, at na umiinom pa kayo. So, just minimize lang. Kasi, ano ba Prevention is better than cure. Hindi naman ako sa nagmamagaling. Umiinom din naman ako. Pero hindi ako naninigarilyo. Pero, ay na occasionally, pag umiinom ako ng alcohol, hindi ako nagtitake ng hormones that night. Or, kasi, syempre, sinusunog na natin yung atay natin sa hormones pa lang. Kaya dapat maging aware tayo. Let's start with my daily intake of oral pills. So, my daily intake of pills first is the Yen 35 from Germany. As you can see, paubos na siya. Actually, I've, I've just ordered my new set of hormones. So, these products na ipapakita ko is paubos na siya. Yung, isa, yung iba wala na talang laman. Pero ipapakita ko pa rin. And then, since I'm waiting for the new products, nag-video ako. And, so, the Yen 35 is one of my daily intakes. Also, this one is from uh, um, Thailand. It's called LDB. Sikat to sa Thailand. Tinitake to yung mga trinene sa Thailand. And when I started using it, wala akong, hindi ako nag-break out, hindi ako nag-pimples. And then, what I've noticed, pag nag-stop ako ng take nito, doon ako nagkaka-break out. Nagkaka-hormonal imbalance ako. So, nahihim na ako dito. So, contraceptive pills like the Yen 35. You know, we all know that it's contraceptive pills. It's, you know, pero pwede nang tinitake din natin kasi it has a cyproterone acetate which is a female hormones na nagsusupply ng mga ng synthetic or fake female hormones sa atin. Kasi nga lang, wala tong male blocker. It only has a really small dosage of female hormones. Pero I'm taking it kasi lahat naman siguro ng trans alam na ang dayan is nakakasoft ng skin. Diba? Nakaka-glow ng skin. So, I'm taking it as my daily intake. And, may mga dayan Germany, dayan Thailand, may gawa din sa Philippines, manufactured in the Philippines. Pero, dito ko na yung sa Germany na. And this LDB naman, it's pure female hormone. Nagsusupply talaga siya ng female hormone. Wala siyang male blocker. May isang klase nito. Ito, lamong ni ata yung na male blocker siya. Hindi ko, I'm not sure ha. Pero this one is to supply your body with the female hormones. So, you know, if when you're taking female hormones or supplementary ng female hormones, you need to take a male blocker also. Kasi, hindi yung, hindi pwedeng nagsusupply ka lang ng female hormones sa katawan mo, yung hindi ka nagbablock, nagbablock ng male hormones mo. Especially when you're pre-op. Kasi, syempre, yung pag nag-reproduce pa rin ng male hormones yung katawan mo. So, parang nilalabanan niya yung female hormones na tinitake mo ng male hormones mo. So, you need to take a male blocker. So, ayan, ito yung mga daily intake ko ng oral. And also, to keep my skin healthy, I'm taking Myra E400. Ito yung vitamins ka sa skin. It's a perfect combo. For me, ha? For me. So these are my daily intake of RL hormones. So let's move to my weekly intake of RLs. Ito naman, 
mga high dosage na to ng hormones. You need to start first and small dosage of hormones kasi baka mabigla yung katawan mo hindi kaya lalo na pag baka magpalpitid ka lalo na if you have heart problems beware um, consult your doctor first lalo na sa, ano, sa America I've been in the USA and I've had few friends na in a trans community trans man, trans woman they need to consult first their um, ano yung doctor sa atay Ayan mo, tumasa yung mga doctors sa atay. Kasi kinukunan muna sila ng dugo, tapos tinetest nila. Ina-examine ng doktor yung dugo ng, at yung atay mo sa so kung hanggang saan ka lang pwedeng ng dosage ng hormones. Pero ako, I am self-medicating, I am self-injecting, and I take actions. I take um, all the consequences for this. I'm not blaming anyone else if there's something would happen to me. Especially in the Filipinas, alam ko most of all, most of us are self-medicating. So we need to take responsibilities for all that we are doing. So let's move to the weekly intake of hormones. So again, so since I'm talking about male blocker, ang ginagamit kong male blocker is the Andrew Core. <coughs> Pabas na siya. Actually na. Sige na nga siya. Pabas na siya. It's Andrew Kerr. It's I think yeah I think it's yes it's from Germany. And it's a 50 milligram lang. May 100 milligram na ata ngayon. Yes from France. I'm not sure. Pero ito yung tinitake ko. At tinitake ko siya once a week. Once a week. May iba kong friends. Dinideli nila. Ti. Yung atay ninyo ti. Grabe ito sa atay. Grabe yung tama nito sa atay tea. So, watch out. And, may iba din na yung isang tab ina, kinakat nila into four. So, apat na siya na, ano, na maliliit na piraso. At yung maliliit na piraso, tinitake nila once a day. So, yung isang tab, total of four days. Natry ko din yun, pero I realized na yung atay ko, pag in everyday ko siya, nakakadalawang tab ako sa isang linggo. So, Ginawa ko, one tap a week na lang. And also, may may blocker ako na high dosage. May female hormones na ako na high dosage, which is Prosexol. It's a 0.5 mg lang. It's from Japan. Japan ba to? Yes, Japan. Andricor and Prosexol is a very good combo. Especially when you're blocking your male hormones and you're supplying your, your body with the female hormones. It's a perfect combo. And last tab na lang siya for this week. And hopefully, dumating na yung mga bagong in order ko. Nahiya ako dito. Wala akong mga... Dito ako nagmukha. Dito ako nag-ano talaga. Nag... Nagmukhang babae. Kasi pag nagsatap ako nito, lumalaki ako. At, you know, again, when you're taking this kind of products or this kind of drugs, it takes a while, it takes a process. It takes a minimum of three months na makikita yung result. And for me, after three months, then nag start na nag ano nag um, tawag an tamang term. Parang nag boom na yung breast ko. <coughs> Nagsimula sa parang may maliit na na tawag namin dun is mani. Mani ba? Basta yun yung dito suri ko, mani. Tapos lumalaki siya. Liso, liso. Parang liso, parang buto ng ano, ng sample. Santol, manga. Buto, tawag doon. Maliit na buto. So lumalaki siya. Hanggang saan naging yung soft na. So, so, sobrang sakit kanya for the first couple of months na, nag, na nagbubong yung breast nyo. It's normal. And pag nagsasab ako this product, nagsasab ako taking this products, napapansin, napapansin ko na nag-shrink down yung bebe ko. So, parang lalo na if your breast is not that totally um, developed yet and then nag-stop ka ng hormones, nag-shrink down talaga siya. Especially when you haven't done yet your breast augmentation. Just like me. So, dapat continuous. It's a lifetime process na ko din kasi. But again, you need to be very careful of your liver and also your health na lang. Overall health mo. Dapat tinitake good care mo yun. Yun na yung mga oral hormones ko. Now, let's proceed to the injectables. I 
again, I'm self-injecting and self-medicate. Ako lang ang i-inject sa katawan ko. And then, you don't need naman a, um, a licensed nurse. Well, it's better if you have a licensed nurse to do to do this procedure. But since it's an IM or intramuscular um, injection, you can do it yourself. If you have, you know, if you have also studied. Well, I had a friend who is a nurse. He taught me on how to self-inject yourself. These are my combos. Nagikita niyo ba siya? Ayan. So this one is Prolut, I mean, Ovestradiol Benzoate. And this one is Proluten from Germany. Kasi may Proluten, um, India. Hindi ko alam yung iba. And dito na ako nahiyang. So I've never, um, tried another product. Kasi... Yan, as, kasi nga yung sabi ko na try and try and then until sa mahiyang na kayo sa product and then stick to that product so nawala na yung box nila hindi ko nakinikit kasi yung mga box pero if you want to check the itsura ng ano ng product ng box yung sa Perluton at sa Depot ito yung ano nga box nya if mag order man kayo Ayan. And so for the Ovestradiol naman, ito yung box niya. So pagkakaalam ko, ito din yung ginagamit from Senior Sia kasi nakita ko siya one in one of her vlogs. Hindi ko alam basta kung hindi napanood, basta yung ginagamit niya. Ini-inject ko siya once a week. And pag nag-inject ako ng mga ng weekly ko and nag-take ako ng, oral week, ng weekly oral ko, for example, yung Andrigar ko, I'm gonna do first my male blocker and then the next day I'm gonna do my female hormones. So, Monday, I'm gonna take my Andrigar. The following day, Tuesday, I'm gonna take Prozixol. And once then, starting injecting my self with this. So, one, two, three. It's a day one, two, three process. Para hindi sobrang, para, para hindi ko siya sinagan in just one day. Parang, inaano ko siya, ini-schedule schedule ko, yung pagpitake again siya, it's a perfect combo at nag-inject ako sa legs kasi nahihirapan ako mag-inject dito and then nangangalay kasi siya, tayo ako nun so sa legs ko siya ini-inject every week, once a week ayan, and also a reminder to you all na huwag kayong matakot pag naka-absent kayo ng take ng hormone sa isang araw kasi Kasi yung iba parang napaparan nila lang hindi ako nakatake ng ngayon parang Tayo pag na, hindi ka nakatake ng isang araw hindi ibig sabihin na mawawala na lahat hindi ka na magiging babae Just like when you're taking it now hindi kinabakasan magiging babae ka na Ganun din sa pag na, naka-absent ka ng isang araw hindi yun ganun Again, it takes a process, it takes a while to see the result, it takes a minimum of 3 months na makikita nyo if you're also asking prices, the prices of this, the Yen 35 is 350 pesos. And yung iba yung mga resellers nito, binabenta 3 for 1,000. These injectables, ito parang 1 4 and ito 2 4. So 4 8. For good for 2 months na siya. Ito namang ano, Prosexol and Andrecore. Andrecore is. 750 ata and process sales for 700. Medyo may kamahalan talaga te. Yung nagiging high maintenance ka na. Kasi you have to maintain it naman every month na. LTV naman is 1,000 per bottle and it has 30 capsules in each bottle. And then it's good for a month na if you're taking it once a day. Kasi yung required talaga nito is ano, 2 capsules every day. Eh kaso nga lang namamahalan ako. Ni isang capsule ko na lang siya. Kaya para maglast naman siya a month. And then the good timing for me or the good or the perfect time for me to take hormones is before I go to sleep or before I go to bed. May iba tinitik nila every after dinner, lunch or once they wake up after breakfast. Ako before I go to bed. Kasi parang, pag tinay ko siya, 
ayan, nagmamagaling magaling na naman ako. Pero, eto lang nga para sa akin. Pag tinake ko siya before I go to bed, and then pag nadulog na ako, parang dun nag sa circulate yung mga products sa katawan. So, parang, tas when you wake up, ay, I'm blooming. Ayan. Pero para sa akin lang yun ha. And dun, wala naman akong napansin na ano. Hindi ko ba din try na nag-take ng morning? Kasi, tinitake ko din siya talaga at night. Kasi, naisip ko din na pag tinake ko siya ng maybe after lunch, after dinner, tapos may walwalan pala kami, so sobrang doble, double kill na yung atay mo nun. Para at least man lang, kung nagwalwalan kayo, tapos before you go to bed, ma-release mo, ay nag-inuman kami kanina. So hindi, ko, hindi, hindi ako magtitake. Ganun ako yun. Pag nag-inuman kami this night, or that night, hindi ako inom ng pills. The next thing na, lalo na pag yung mga strong or high dosage ng hormones, Ayan, so, again, hindi ko alam kung tama lahat ng sinabi ko. Yun din sa mga pagkakaalam ko. I take responsibility for all of this. And because I'm, again, I'm self-medicating with these products. And, yeah, ma mahal, magmukhang babae. Yun nga, sabi, sabi sa mga kasabihan sa mga pageant, di ba? Kung gusto mong gumanda, gumastos ka. And actually, kinumpit ko lahat ng ano, kinumpit ko sila lahat and then dinivide ko siya kung magkano yung kailangan kong gastosin every month para masupply ko yung sarili ko ng hormones. And ang lumabas is, tarang 5,095. Kailangan ka ng 5,095 a month para masupply ko yung sarili ko ng mga hormones. And, you know, when you started taking hormones, parang it's a responsibility na you have to continue it na. Kasi pag nag-stop ka, di ba, minimum months na makikita mo results, 3 months, ay na, nakikita mo results. Tapos, bigla mo nang stop kasi hindi naman natin may iwasan na zero tayo, wala-wala tayo. So, Parang nasayang na yung tinake mo pag nag-stop ka. So, as early as nag-start ka na, mag-ipon ka for, your, for the next month. And then, pag meron ka na na that month, mag-ipon ka na naman for the next following month. So, it's really a process. At dapat mong pag-aralan mo muna kung magsa-start ka na. Yung iba din, nag-worry sila kasi 15 na sila, hindi pa sila nag-take. Parang, nadaanan na sila, nadaana na sila ng adolescence, ng puberty. Yes, it's a good thing na nag-take ka ng hormones before you hit puberty kasi mas ma, mas mapapaaga mo yung pag-develop ng feminine, feminine features mo. Kasi ako, I started 21, 21 na ako noon, nag-start ako ng hormones. So, pero na, as you can see, As you can see naman, diba? <laughs> Nahabol pa. Pero yung bosses ko hindi kasi, ay nga, 21 na ako nag-start ng hormones. Pero, it's never too late if you're like 20, 21, on your, on your, or on your mid-20s. It's never too late to start taking hormones. Ayan. But it's better to take hormones before hitting puberty kasi mas nade-develop yung feminine features mo nun. But again, you have to be very careful with your overall health, especially your liver. Kasi dun, yung, dun niya pinapatay. Dun pinapatay ng hormones yung atay natin. And again, again, that's all what I can share. Thank you for all the transgender sisters who messaged me asking me and I hope that I was able to answer all your questions and also I hope that I was able to inspire all of you too. and sana may nakunan din kayong idea, may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And if you have any request, please just comment it down below, PM me. Kung hindi man ako nagre-reply, hindi ibig sabihin na hindi na dead mo kayo. Um, Siyempre, binavalidate ko kung ilan kayo nag-request. And doon ako nagka-come up ng idea na sige, gawan ko ng video. And yeah, so if you... And also, I'm gonna comment... I mean, and also, I'm gonna put the, all the products in the description box below. And... Ayan. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys learn from this. And thank you. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified whenever I post a new video. So thank you so much. This is me. This has been Princess and see you again in my next video.